Hello there strangers, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? It's nearly 2024. What the hell? But anyway, there are a lot of new creators in our community, so I wanted to share a few of my top tips with you to maybe progress your creation process a little further and a little faster, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you like the video. But let's stop the babbling and let's get straight into it. <laughs> In the world of Sims 4 content creation, a crucial first tip I'd like to share is the importance of baking your textures. Back when I first started, I used to come across this step in tutorials and I'll admit, I used to skip it. <laughs> However, that turned out to be a big mistake as it left my textures looking flat and lacking definition. A great way to elevate your textures is by using Blender to bake them. This process adds highlights, shadows and other various details that bring your textures to life. Once baked, you can easily save and import them into Sims 4 Studio. Now, there are two approaches you can take. The first is a straightforward method where Blender does the heavy lifting for you. The second option involves a more manual process where you specifically bake ambient occlusion maps in Blender, but after that, you open the map in Photoshop, layer your actual texture on a different layer, and then add a layer effect to the ambient occlusion map. Save the final texture and import it into Sims 4 Studio. I typically lean towards the second option, especially when dealing with textures that have a shiny quality. Baking your textures is a game changer, providing depth and dimension that can truly enhance your creations. So don't miss this step, new creators. All right, on to tip number two. Keep an eye out for things overlapping in your 3D model, like vertices, faces, or edges. If they overlap, you might see strange black marks in game. To fix this, simplify your model by reducing unnecessary details. This is decimating. And try to make the most of your shapes with quads instead of triangles. You can convert tries to quads easy in mesh options in Blender. This not only helps the game run smoother, preventing crashes or lag, but it also makes it easier to spot any overlapping issue. It's like a two-in-one solution. If these terms sound new, there are plenty of beginner-friendly 3D modeling tutorials on Google or YouTube that break it down for you. Taking these steps ensure your Sims 4 creations look good and run seamlessly for all players. Now, let's move on to step three. A crucial part of the process when working with UVs. When unwrapping your UVs, avoid using the basic project from view method. Why? Well, if you do, you might just run into a few issues when baking textures or applying textures to different parts of your mesh. It tends to mirror on both sides and that's not always what we want. Instead, consider unwrapping from cube projection or using smart UV projection. After that, take a moment to pack your islands, which essentially organizes your UVs neatly. This approach allows you to texture each part of your mesh separately. Personally, I take advantage of this by texture painting directly in Blender. When your UVs are unwrapped properly, you can paint right onto the mesh. And then I save the UV image and import into Sims 4 Studio. For those new to texture painting in Blender, I recommend checking out tutorials that specifically cover this topic. It's a powerful way to enhance your creations and give them that personal touch. Now, let's talk about step four, which is not exactly a creative tip, but it's crucial. Especially if you're a creator like me. Creating content can get pricey from time to time with monthly subscriptions for tools like Photoshop, Substance Painter, Marvelous Designer, along with expenses for textures if you buy them, website hosting and domains, the list goes on. So if you're looking to offset some of these costs, here's an idea. Consider adding Google AdSense to your website. This way you don't have to resort to using sketchy adfly links on your sites and blog. With Google AdSense, you can monetize your traffic in a safer and more reliable way. I personally made the switch from Adfly links to Google AdSense a few years ago and it's been a positive change on my website. Especially if your website gets a good amount of traffic, it's a great substitute to think about. It helps cover some of those expenses without compromising the integrity of your content and provides a more secure way to generate income from your creative endeavors. 
just a little tip for my creators there <laughs> so guys that wraps up everything i can think of for now that i haven't really covered in previous tutorials if there's anything specific you'd like to see more of on this channel then just drop a comment below i'm really eager to bring more content to the channel in 2024 thanks a ton for watching best of luck on your creator journey don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay tuned for more and i wish you all an amazing amazing happy new year until next time bye <laughs>